Kyrie Irving speaks on clinching a postseason spot. Check out the video. ourselves in great position um, definitely answers some of those questions that were asked last season and um, some some of the naysayers and all that stuff um, it's a uh, you know, great moment to again answer those questions and succeed and clinch in the playoff spot is there a redeeming feeling at all with it or not really I mean life is about redemption man um, especially in sports where anybody could say anything and you know something could happen the next day or next two weeks or next few months that leads you to succeeding at a very high level or failing at a high level. I mean, just, uh, just comes with it. So it's always, you know, about redemption. Every day we wake up and just try to strive to be better. So it feels good. Uh, it feels good to see him continue to put in that work. I mean, this is what, you know, you sign up for basketball for when you want to become a professional is to continue to get better. And he's on a better team now. No disrespect to the Charlotte Hornets, but just – you know, he's on a better team where the shots matter and we need him to make those shots and we have the confidence in him and when he's not making them, not, you know, that's not the time to give him anything less than encouragement. You know, like we need to continue to feed him that confidence and when he's playing well on the defensive end, I think that feeds his, also, his offensive capabilities and when he's getting wide open looks and um, he starts off the game with it, he makes his first, that makes a big difference. But. Um, now we just get into the next phase of all our maturity, right? Where if we're not making shots, we just continue to fire away. And you know, some people may not like that statement, but we gotta continue to fire away on the open looks and um, you know, trust that our work will show showcase at the right time. Thank you, Will. <laughs> How much is music a part of your pregame ritual, or just relax in general to help you kind of lock in? I mean, music influences humanity in a deep way, so it influences me too. Um, I love every genre of music and. You know, listen to Sam Cooke before a game, and you know, Boston Indy is you know ringing in my head right now as well as taking over this younger generation. But uh, yes, it, it gets me going, it gets our team going, um, and I think because we have such an international team and such a diverse team, you know, one day we're listening to Serbian music, and the next day we're listening to Boston Indy It's just everything on the spectrum is is pretty cool. So that's the luxury of being on this team. Game, I saw you embrace um, Dirk. Say what's up to him. Yeah, shout I don't... out to Legend Man, the statue. Yeah, I don't know what y'all's relationship or friendship looks like, but you've been here long enough where you kind of understand what Dirk means. What would you say that Dirk means to the Dallas Mavericks from what you understand? Oh, man. Oh, uh, shoot. <laughs> I can tell you what he means to the broader basketball culture. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, but I think for Dallas in general, he created a culture of, of championship winning and um, MVP-like performances, a lot of game winners, uh, playing with a lot of the legends in the league. You know, if you look at the names that are on the floor, you see a lot of legendary names that have come through Dallas um, and helped build this franchise to be where it is today. Uh, although it's only one championship, uh, a lot of franchises can't say the same that they've won a championship. So that means something in, uh, in the basketball cultural world and in the sports world and just the respect that I have for him as a peer. Um, and as a, as a little brother, right? <clears throat> so I, I look at Dirk as someone I could always go to if I need um, some resources or advice. And, um, you know, just hearing about the quality of human being he is and how much he influenced Luca and other guys that have come in through here, it's nothing but positive things. So uh, he had his ups and downs, just like every great pro. Won a lot of games, lost some games. Um, but the respect and the love that I have for him is just unconditional. You know, he, he set the standard here and he's built a large legacy that uh, other guys want to follow. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.